How's it going? Welcome back to the shed. Um, yep, yet again, I've been a little bit crap on um, putting regular videos out. Um, just so many bikey projects to do, so, and just no, nowhere near enough time. Um, at the moment, I'm doing a fair bit of overtime at work, uh, so Saturday's pretty much out, and then that just gives me Sunday to try and get all the other stuff that I need to get done, um, home and bike related done, and blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, it's hopefully that will, I'm hoping will ease up a little bit, um, but um, yeah, I thought I'd put up a video because this Sunday, um, it's not hardtail related sadly, um, it's not XJ600 related, just a bit of general, not even maintenance really, but um, got to sort some things out on the America. Um, so basically the side mount which I made quite a while back. Um, still fine and going strong. Um, the actual light that was attached to it, which is uh, which is this one, that light there, um, it was quite, quite a nice light, and I had that on this plate, which was on an L-shaped bracket as well. So that was that was another plate. Obviously, was there. And um, that's where it was on the, as you sit on the bike, right hand side. Um, now, as you, can see, you might be able to see, but just what, years of riding through uh, the winter and the crap, um, started getting a, some shit. I mean, these are not ex super expensive lights. Um, started getting a load of crap um, in the bottom there. Uh, the bottom three LEDs are just dead now, probably corrosion and stuff in there. Um, so it was on the cards to sort something out, it was starting to look a bit shitty um, but then the other day um, it just crapped out completely so I had no um, no brake light at all um, I think it was more to do with just just winter riding and a lot of um, you know, salt and the corrosion and so something's got in um, to some of the wiring because it kind of it does sort of work occasionally on your wiggle bits, but um, I've bleep tested through all the rest of the wiring and that's all good and solid, so it is just a bit of a niffy light. So I need to change the light. Um, obviously I can't ride the bike with no sort of rear brake light. Uh, that's a bit just asking for trouble. So that was my plan, get another light. So I picked up another light for, I think this was nine pounds, little aluminium jobby one. You know the sort of stuff you get out of China. Um, at the moment, I'm a bit tight on cash, so I can't afford anything too fancy. But you know, this is actually—I was surprised at how nice this is when it came. It's you know, as well made as one of the Shinyo ones. Um, but there we go. So that's that's the light. It does come on an number plate bracket like that. Um, probably not going to use that to be honest um, because um, I'd have to redrill my number plate to get it on there can't be asked getting another number plate and redrilling it don't really want a rear mudguard mounted uh, light and number plate um, at the moment that's what I'm feeling I'd rather keep it going side mounty so that's why this is off because I'm gonna have to make a different mount for that quite where this is going to go on the bike I'm not entirely sure yet and uh, the other thing I wanted to do was switch the the mounting of the number plate round to the right hand side uh, no the left hand side it was on the right then going to the left um, just feel I don't know why I put it on the right to be honest um, but it feels better just the number plate down when it's on the side stand and plus I think I am going to put the high level mass Mohave exhausts Back on the America um, and they exit on the right side so it kind of balances stuff out I didn't really like it with the pipes and the side mount on the one side so we can just have pipes and a side mount on the other side um, yeah the mass Mohav exhausts um, I do love them they've been on there obviously I've cleaned them all up and um, took those bits of I haven't chopped them down yet um, I had them on the hard tail and I just kept looking at them I was like uh, it's not quite, it's, you know, it's just not quite totally going. Uh, it's not exactly what I want. Um, and I was kind of pushing to keep them on there because that meant that I'd got the exhaust system sorted out for that bike. 
and that was just one of the hundreds of things on that list that's ticked off um, but I didn't think that was the best way of doing it the other reason is again like the brake lights suffered the downpipes uh, and the, 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 the kind of cheapish kind of cocktail shaker tulip exhaust I've got together on the on the America at the moment are a little bit um, starting to get a little bit crudded up you know chipped and a little bit rusty in places um, not the nicest looking um, uh, and obviously they're not stainless so then you know they they don't fare as well through the crappy weather um, also I quite like the fact that you don't really see the Mojave exhaust on in America it's a bit bit different um, so yeah I think I think I'm going to put them back on which means I will have to make up some sort of heat shield because I went through a couple of sets of waterproofs um, but that was going to kind of be this weekend's video but now I've got to sort out the brake light so it's all maybe it's all working together but um, enough waffling more doing uh, let's crack on right then so slightly annoyingly um, I did have a little bit of footage of uh, well I thought I was going to have footage of cutting and drilling and filing and blah -de blah -de blah of making the bits but um, I haven't I maybe I didn't press record I don't know but anyway it's not that interesting it was just really just yeah cutting and drilling a few holes so not like you're missing anything um, but so this is where the side mount used to be and um, I had the main bolt off the bottom shock um, and then where the chain guard should be <laughs> um, I had like an extra thin uh, I think it was an M6 socket going there just to you know so you don't get any rotation it just kind of locked it in place and that just sat there um, so but as I say I want to switch over to this side um, so the mass exhaust on this side so I'm just balancing in my head anyway just kind of balancing the uh, uh, the weight visually uh, on each side um, so this is some of the stuff that I got out of the scrap bin, um, metal scrap bin, so these uh, aluminium sheets, I've got loads of these, so a lot of the bits and bobs I'm making um, are out of this, because it's free surplus stock. Um, there is a, a little bracket I've made up, oh, I'll show you this on the XJ1. I've just done that um, for an indicator bracket, um, So, but that's, that's another story. But um, yeah, so this is this is the stuff I'm using. And we now have to just go to here's one I made earlier. So this is what we've got. Um, oh, I should speak mainly where am I going to put it. Okay, so obvious choice would have possibly been on this side. Um, but I haven't really got many mounting points to um, kind of do a second secured bolt on there to stop it spinning. Um, one would probably be enough you can go off the axle the only thing I don't like about that is it's pain when you come to chain adjust um, I don't really want things getting in the way um, I want an ease of access so here didn't really feel like it was going to be the best place um, so the next most obvious point is where the exhaust and uh, pillion pegs on the American normally go so you've got a these mounting points here um, this is where my little stash bag used to go, um, so I'd, I'll have to do something else with that. Um, but they, so that that that's kind of quite a nice little spot there, um, and it's it's still visible. You'll see when it's on there, um, but I quite like the fact it's it's sort of tucked in a little bit. It doesn't get in the way of the leg or when I'm paddling the bike around. Already tried that, so that's all that's all good. So yeah, ideal spot. And um, so this is what we've got. So this is, I've repurposed, it, it is basically a scrap bin parts build, um, as most of my stuff is. Um, this is a bit of angled aluminium. I haven't got any more of this, so I'm, I've had to repurpose what was on the other side. Um, so this is, this is the one that was on the other side. Um, and I'm just gonna reuse this. So hence the reason, um, it's kind kind of being made to fit, not necessarily the design I would have had if I was making it from scratch, but um, you can't have everything. So it's going to go there like that. So that's where that sits. Obviously, you want a support bracket coming off there to kind of grip this because depending on where the light is going to go, I want to have a bit of 
it's got to be quite beefy to hang on to. Um, I already had that hole drilled. Uh, for when, uh, yeah, so we had that, that cut out to access the axle nut. Where was it like? It was like that, wasn't it? Just like that. Just like that. So that hole there was what bolted through and held it all together. So I'm going to kind of use what I've got. Um, so that, as I say, is... I've forgotten again. It's going to go like that. So, I wanted uh, the back plate I had, I thought it was just going to be a case of flipping it over. Um, I've obviously, the holes are slightly offset and it wouldn't fit. So, I've cut out of this stuff another one of those, just drilled some extra holes in. Um, I kind of followed most of the holes from the original light. Um, they're kind of the two holes that were mounted it to the bracket um, and were countersunk, so the other light used to sit on top of it that's going to be a bit it's going to be exposed but i don't care i left those holes in because i thought if i don't have a brake light with a number plate light near it if needs be i can have a number plate one of those little button number plate lights either here and here they are also extra mounting points um so we'll see when that comes together but basically chopped that rounded the corners off so it's a bit nicer stuck the number plate on um so let's, let me get that on, we can have a look, and then we'll go on to the support bracket. Actually, just before I do put that on, uh, other thing we've done, it's going to mount on there. I wanted a bit more surface area for it to sit on and just, I don't know, tidy it up. Um, so at the um, bin of parts, um, swing arm, bobbin, spool, that actually fits on nicely there. It gives me a nice... Sort of flat surface looks pretty groovy um, pushes it out just a bit more so it's not sat obscured by the rear shock so you can still see the number plate officer so um that's going to go on for fuck right when well, i eventually found the swing arm bobbin um there we go so that's on there i've sl that's slotted anyway for moving around but um i can adjust the angle of the dangle however i want um so the next thing I wanted to do was get some sort of support brace going from here to there. Um, I was going to use that hole because it's already there. I'm going to use that threaded point because it's already there. So, yet again, some more of the trusty what was left over from that. Just cut out a bracket, sanded it round. Um, so that's the bolting hole. That's the hole that goes onto the hanger bracket. And then these are decorative holes um, that I drilled through to make it look pretty. The other thing I need to do as well, if you may remember from the stash bag mounting, um, we have a little bit of a gap there when that sits on, uh, which I'm just going to take up the difference with this out of my parts. Um, I think that is actually a, an original Triumph Bonneville headlight bracket spacer, but that will just go there. So let's get that mounted up. Okie dokie, there we go. Um, so it's a bit glary with the light on, but it's a bit dark without, I'm afraid. So, um, so there we go. That's the bracket. That's my support bracket on there. Um, um, there's a, a degree of adjustability whilst it's all loose. Obviously, I've got that notch there, and that moves, so I can I can, you know, tailor the angle. Uh, exactly to where I want it. Uh, very nice, very nice. So there we go. Um, I imagine that's going to go black as well. Although I do quite like. Maybe that's is it the lazy part of me saying I quite like the uh, brushed aluminium look just because I can't be bothered painting it. Um, I am going to have to paint the back of the number plate anyway, though. So yeah, it probably will get painted. Um, I just wonder if you'll lose the whole detail effect if all that goes black. Uh, we'll see. Uh, anyway, let's get the um, the plate on, and um, that should be uh, give us a bit more of an idea of where the rear brake light wants to be. Right, so that's that's kind of the number plate all mounted on. Um, obviously, I've just got my show plate on for the moment, not my road legal one. Um, but yes, that for me works quite nicely. Pretty nice, nice 
nice and beef though, not moving anywhere. Such so do the job. Lovely, lovely. Um, so yeah, as I say, I've got I've got two holes here. Um, I haven't bothered drilling through that one. That's where the wiring used to go. They've countersunk. Um, I could put a number plate light in there, but that means running a bit more wiring off that, which is not a big pain. Um, don't really want the light on here. So my feelings are come off the side mount. Though for strength wise it's going to be offset a little bit so it might be in there. Um, could even be a little bracket off there. The reason it'd be nice to put it on there is you do get, I'm never too sure if you have to have a number plate light or not. I think you have to have a reflector on here but you can get over that by sticking a little stick on reflector. Um, but this light's got a built in number plate light so it kind of just saves me. That is if I have got a little number plate light in me spares. I won't look now. But um yeah, so that kind of just gets it done in one hit. Um, let's get the light and just... Uh, where should we put you? I'll set this up and get the light and we'll have a little move around. Right then, so boom, there's the light. Um, show up here, so you see you've got the little number plate light under there. So, I'd really want... That's kind of where I'd quite like it. Um, and I'm, the reason I'm not going there is because I don't think that's... I mean, it's not heavy, this, at all, but... I don't really want that sticking out. There, that is, it's, I prefer it a bit closer in. Um, and it's just a bit more strength if it's up against... If it's, It will have to be. I'll have to make a separate bracket that bolts to through here on that. Like that. The other one I was thinking was maybe coming off the shock here, making a little L-shaped bracket that goes there. But I'm just funny about it being a bit close to the indicator. It's just a bit gets a bit cluttered. There was always down there, but that's just going to get covered in shit and die. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make up a bracket with extra length on it to. To have a play around with and we'll see but that's where I'm vibing it Looks slightly bizarre offset but I quite like it right so there's the uh, there's the bracket that it came with um, it's probably just horrible nasty steel and this sort of thing just rusts up just a pet hate of mine but um, that's it and obviously I don't want the number plate bracket part so uh, this is the bit I want um, so just again a bit more of my lovely aluminium so I've just sketched it out um, I think though looking at it where they go in here I might just be a lazy bastard and just I've drawn these extra lines and so I'm not going to bother with this cut there um, I'll just chop the that kind of rounded shape out first and um, have a play with that, I'll give myself a bit of extra there, so um, depending on where it's going to go and where the bends are, we can we can have a bit of a play around. But the main thing is, let's get that out so I can mount it onto something. I oh, know, I just had a thought, because I was leaving it open, I, I, I am vibing the mounting here, um, but that's not going to be the best place to put it, because I want to have... That's going to be a bit too far over, I think, because um, I want to use, or I'm going to have to use these points. That one uh, there for mounting. So I've drawn it over to the one side, um, and I think I'll extend it here, and keep that bit. So when it's on there, let's, look. let's go show on that side. A bolt in there. Yep. So, not that one.
Right. So far, so good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave a prefer that shape. Um, I do prefer it. I'm not just being lazy. Uh, but there we go. So, got to drill out the uh, wiring hole now. Um, probably have to gonna, gonna drill it out and then I've got step drill bits that are gonna be big enough. Yeah, that one. Try use that to drill it out. I think. Um, the only thing I've got big enough. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably cock it up on the mounting holes. But um, yeah, let's get that drilled up. Get the light on it. Then I can play a bit more. Obviously, we're gonna. There'll be a, a, some sort of bend in it just to get the angle of the light right. Because you're not just gonna have it like that. It's gonna want to be like that. But let's do this. Again. Well, perfect fit. I'm quite happy with that. That actually turned out sort of nicer than I thought. Um, so, now you need to offer it up to the old um, side mount and see if uh, that's going to work. But I think it will. I think that's going to turn out okay. I stuck it in the vise as well and just put a little bend in just to bring the light up a bit more. But um, now I'm just going to drill my mounting holes now. Get the whole thing bolted together and see if it all uh, all works. So there we go, the old uh, scrap heap uh, side mount. It's all together. Obviously, um, I'm going to have to take it all apart, and spray it up black. Um, I haven't wired it in yet either. That's been most of, most of Sunday getting this together. Um, but overall, I'm really pleased. I just want to. I'm going to put a rubber boot over this just to protect the uh, any water ingress in there. <coughs> um, I'm just going to hide the wiring and crimp a connection threes on there. I might just hook it up very quickly just to the battery, um, just to have a look see um, how the. Uh, how it looks from from behind with the light on but um yeah does the job i think it's quite quite kind of slim and discreet i do think i prefer it a bit sort of closer up and it's going to end about where the exhausts are as well so it's kind of just that weird to me anyway that weird balance but um yeah kind of you have to make do with what what you've got but um, you know, if I was making it again, I'd probably do something a bit nicer with this bracket. Because obviously, it's again, I'm repurposing it for when it was kind of drilled and whatnot for the other side. So, um, but you know, I could could always put something over that. It's a side man. It's the old, the whole ethos of the bike is a bit more rough and ready. But um, yeah. I, mean, I might, I might match up some um, bolts. Or should I leave those? I don't know. I think that, I think I'm overanalyzing that bit. But no, I'll have to um, come off to go black. But um, well, when I get round to it, I'm a little bit lazy. I need to get some tough black as well. But um, yeah, let's have a little look at it um, hooked up on the battery there just to see what it's like, illuminated. Uh, so there we go. Light on, illuminated, a bit of a crude mock-up. But, um, the stand on roughly
has roughly sort of half a car distance behind so you, yeah definitely a visible light um, it, I haven't wired it in properly yet so I've just literally just direct hooked it up to the battery but yeah so there we go end of the video um, yep yeah, not hard tail unfortunately not XJ um, but a necessary little job I had to do on the on the America um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that's turned out, you know. Um, so I need to order some tough black to spray it all up. Um, I kind of need to get it on the road, obviously, to get to work. Um, but otherwise, pretty much done. Um, yeah, and, you know, for odds and sods that are just underneath a bench, you know, bits of old metal and stuff. Um, yeah, it's kind of quite quite fun, but um, been a fun process doing it. And it's got a video up anyway. Um, but yeah. That's the end of that one. Um, don't know what's going to be next, whether it'll be hardtail. Um, I am going to put the Maz exhausts on the America. Um, so depends what happens with the the heat shield. I mean, the rest of it is not really worth making a video, is it? Just bolting a uh, exhaust on. Um, but if I've got to do anything um, a bit more involved with the heat shields, I'll probably make that into a video. But... <coughs> Otherwise, I think it's going to be um, get a bit more done on Stu's XJ. Um, so I'll put a video of that up soon. And um, yeah, hardtail, just get on with the hardtail. But thanks for watching, take it easy, and see you next time.